Okay, so I've got a script error that's popped up once before. So when I did a Windows update with the evaluation on Windows 11, I got the script error. I found out what the script error was by doing this, or knew what it was associated with. So type this, paste it in right here. I read through it. I see that it's a rogue Asus Rygen, which that is my CPU cooler, which is controlled by Armor Crate and some software. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just say continue running. I'm gonna go in here to Armor Crate. I'm gonna run this as administrator and I'm gonna uninstall it. Now this uninstall tool is gonna help because what it's do is it's gonna remove files that ASUS knows that needs to be removed or remove more of the files or all the files versus just a typical uninstall by Windows, which is also something you could do manually by searching for some of the files, which I don't recommend if you don't know already about something like the script error. And also you can run something like this tool called CC Cleaner. And I'll cover that a little bit here later. It will help remove registries, which are background links, whatever. I really don't want to go into much about registry files, what they do, any type of files or anything. We're just here to basically get this problem solved and show you script errors, what you can do. Now there is a way to go in and disable scripts from even popping up with the error, but that doesn't solve the problem, does it? All right, so we're gonna restart. Okay, so we restarted. We used Armor Create Uninstall tool, which you can get off of ASUS's website. Now what I'm gonna do is for good measure, I am gonna this time just do CC Cleaner, just in case that it does not work the second go around. And I don't feel like installing, reinstalling, all that great stuff. So this right here is finding extra file path issues and things like that to remove. So we're just gonna say, whoop, remove them. I'm not gonna back it up because I'm gonna, I have the software to install. So I'm not worried about the registry files being messed up or corrupt. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna install Armor Crate. Actually, I'm just gonna do Armor Crate. Last time I did this, there was an error or an issue. Um, I believe when I tried to install Armor Crate got all the way done, which takes a while to install, and it came up with an error. And I was like, okay, so I went back and uninstalled it again, and then did just Armor Crate. And basically, we're looking at quick this is basically a quick, simple way to fix something versus going in and researching script and doing all the trying to find the files. This is typically for a computer program your best thing to do is to uninstall program and reinstall it. But something like CC and cleaner has always been very helpful to take out those files that do not get removed. So when you install the program, the program files, those files are still there and you still have the issue where if the files get removed and the registry files get removed, then the files get completely replaced and then you have no issues. So if you uninstall something and reinstall it and it still doesn't solve the problem, you need to do something like CC and cleaner. The next thing is you can search through the registry and look for the files individually and delete it. I used to do that before CC and cleaner. And also you can go search through your drive, go into hidden file folders and look for the hidden file folders and delete those folders right there, which will also mess up the registry, but you have the program to reinstall, it's not much of an issue. And this part here, if it's gonna to take too much longer, I will just speed it up. Okay, so I got the installation fail. I got this last time. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and do the uninstall tool again. All right, so we did the uninstall, the reboot, everything like that. Armor Crate, as I rebooted, there is no script errors anymore. And we've got Armor Crate, 
installed, everything's working correctly. And now my RAM is not correctly working. So I downloaded from G-Skill, the R controller. And I went in and I changed the color on my RAM, apply, and we're all good. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty basic, just a pain. And it's all because of the Windows 11 evaluation update. And this happened with Windows 10, get an update, something like that. It messes up the software, you gotta uninstall everything and reinstall it, and you're done.